what's going on you guys so check it right it looks like another relationship in the game has come to an end and the one i'm talking about revolves around jay molly and mt now during the time when jay molly was trying to delete himself a few months back one individual who reached out to him at his time of vulnerability was mt and he did so in the form of wanting to work with him on a joint project now i think this was a sincere gesture from mt so that he could possibly get jay's mind off of things having him be productive and not thinking about the demons he's dealing with internally now the two rappers actually did end up working together with them linking up at the studio on several occasions and it actually seemed like the tape was on the way but fast forward to now and that doesn't seem to be the case anymore now jay molly hopped on ig live and explained the situation what do i do as a stand-up guy i, I pay for the studio session i give them gas money because my fuckers ain't got no money so i give them gas money they pull up i buy kfc for them because they can't order their own kfc um, I buy lean for them. You know, MT leaning off that shit hard. I buy lean from for MT and Saruno so they can like geek out, have their fun. And then I'm with MT. He's either passed out on the couch or like he's like passed over and he can't put his shoe on. Like that shit happened for like five minutes. Like he lost his shoe, bro. And he couldn't. No, y'all gonna leave me alone. He couldn't. He couldn't put his shoe on. He was bent over for five minutes, couldn't put a shoe on. So I've had three serious decisions with MT in the, in the last week. He couldn't even write one bar. Like, I would leave him in the studio, say, like, do your thing, King. Come back, motherfucker read four bars in, in two hours. And two of the lines ran with each other. So that like, four bars, like, I'm in the hood, it's good. Empty hustle, yeah, it's good. Like, he rhymed two. He spent an hour and a half writing these bars. And like he was like he rhymed two two lyrics with the same thing. So like for the last three times I tried to do sessions with me, I paid for everything. I bought them KFC. I paid for their transport because I think I don't think they don't have no money. So that's why I paid for their transport. They pull up to the studio. I buy them lean because you know lean. MC's a lean addict and Saruno. They both lean addicts. So I buy their lean for them. I watched them sip. He either got MT swearing at his fans on live or, or he's sleeping. Either MT sleeping or he's on live swearing at his fans. That's what he does best, you know, it's like swearing at his fans, like showing them his. I don't know what he's showing them. He hasn't even come with any witty comments. He just says, like, oh, oh fuck your mother. He doesn't even say anything that's smart or like something that would like really touch you. Be like, you're a bitch. So what am I like? You know, like high school shit. So, thing with MT, I, I can't. Now this situation is unfortunate because it does paint MT not in the best of light. I mean, Jay Molly pretty much said that MT and Young Saruno couldn't afford food since he was always buying them KFC. He also said that he had to pay for their transport since he would give them fuel money and that he would pay for their lean since they always sip. And his addiction got to the point where MT couldn't put his shoe on, thinking that he lost it as well as him not being able to write a verse with him doing four bars in two hours. Now, as I said, this this situation is unfortunate because these two could have come out with some dope music but it doesn't look like that will ever happen but i mean this is above the music because if mt really is an addict it's only right that he gets himself clean i mean in interviews when having a conversation he literally slurs these words and often sounds forgetful when speaking and his fans constantly plead with him to get clean despite him denying the fact that he sips now with all that said it's going to be interesting to see how he responds to these claims whether he's going to deny them by stating his side of the story or he's just going to ignore the situation entirely but i doubt that i mean it's empty he always has something to say especially when someone is accusing him of drug abuse so we'll just wait for what he has to say but you guys let me know your thoughts on this are you disappointed that we won't be getting a joint project from jay molly and mt and what do you make of the allegations jay molly made against mt comment down below Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't.